Hi everybody, it's Christina Dennis, Transformational Self Empowerment Master, coming to you. Let's see, I want to make sure you can see these gorgeous earrings. Look at these guys. I've worn them before, but I love them. I uh, am coming to you with a concept about uh, investing in yourself and what all of this, uh, what all this uh, information that we have available to us at our fingertips can do for us. Everybody's heard. Um, power is knowledge or knowledge is power. Sorry, I said it backwards. Knowledge is power. And I don't necessarily agree. Applied knowledge is power. Um, and to apply knowledge takes sometimes skill, um, certainly takes a, a willingness to make a change in your life. And for me, it often means working with somebody else. And so I want to put that out there to people who are trying to make some changes in their life and they're trying to have a different life than they've had before. And you want to go through some of this work, um, maybe on your own. And I want to challenge you to consider investing in yourself and getting a mentor. Um, one of the ways I believe that, uh, one of the reasons I believe that I have made some of these wonderful changes in my life and have always been willing to make um, a different step was my willingness to find people who were going to help me walk through um, things that I didn't know how to do on my own. Uh, so uh, it's like having a coach. I'm sure you've heard of that concept. Uh, a therapist, um, people will go to therapy to walk through things. And could they tell some of those stories to other people? Probably, but there's something about that uh, accountability and that weekly process that makes um, them, uh, puts them in a position where they're willing to make the changes they need to. So I want you to take the time to consider what that would look like for you. Because all of us probably know exactly what we're supposed to do to make these changes. Um, most people know what they're supposed to eat. Um, most people know uh, some form of exercise is gonna make them feel better. Uh, maybe there are little tweaks that you can change, but most people know that, you know, when they are uh, doing the same things and expecting different results that they are, um, you know, inviting the insanity to be in part of their life. And that includes myself. I am, um, I learned 20 plus 20 years ago that doing uh, the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result was insanity. And I learned that from uh, a 12 step program. And I love my 12 step programs because they, I think are the ultimate um, beginning of accountability and what I'm trying to talk about in this world. And um, I can always tell by somebody in the language they use, generally speaking, whether they have made a decision to be accountable to somebody else um, or have some kind of program in their life. And honestly, I wish everybody had that um, option because you would have such a better um, life for yourself if you had uh, that group of people that you got to go to. Now you can have it though, if you're not gonna be able to go to a program. And that's what I'm talking about, getting a coach, getting a mentor, getting somebody to walk you through something. I have um, a business coach who has walked me through uh, launching this business and help me understand exactly what I could do uh, with my passion and my love um, of helping people and how I could make that into something that I do every day when I wake up and do with large groups, do with small people individually, one-on-one. -on -one. I have a wellness coach who is teaching me all about products that can help me um, that can help me coach through uh, my son's recovery that can help me walk through and do those kinds of steps uh, a lot of people go to church every week and there you have somebody who is helping you walk through let's say a scripture or scriptures that are helping fulfill your life but think about areas in your life that maybe you know you keep doing certain things or you're not sure exactly why and you're frustrated with yourself and you're trying to figure out exactly how to make that changes. And maybe it's time for you to invest in yourself a little bit more. Um, I once most recently attended a uh, seminar um, about health and wellness. And she was talking about how many people read and read and read and read and read. And, read, and they're always updating the, um, she called it the operating system. They're always updating the operating system. But 
they're rarely going in and actually using uh, the information that they've been given. And I thought, yes, you can feel like you're doing a lot for yourself on a daily basis when you are busy downloading information and updating your operating system, but that's not going to move you into action and the action, the contrary action that need that it needs to, that needs to be taken in order for um, myself and anybody I've ever met to move to a different part, a different plane in their life, a different aspect, a different perspective of what they're doing. And I just want to encourage you that if you are in that position um, and I mentioned if you're reading and you don't already have people in your life that are supporting you this way, to look into getting some kind of support group around you and some kind of person around you that can be your accountability partner, that can help you apply that knowledge. Because as I said, knowledge is power, but only if it's applied. Knowing everything in the world and not having the where, the commitment and the ability to uh, integrate it into my life isn't going to help me get anywhere, you know, and I need that kind of check-in and that kind of person to coach me along. So I've got a, a wellness coach. I have a business coach. Um, I have a group of women that I'm accountable to on an emotional basis. Um, and I have a spiritual coach. And I believe that is one of the reasons why I have gotten to the places I've gotten to and I have the joy that I have in my life. Um, and so we women tend to put ourselves last and we tend to think, oh, we should be able to figure it out on our own or we, um, you know, kind of, you know, play it safe and stay kind of in the safe zone. And I just want to encourage you to jump out there and um, join something, enroll in something, be part of something that can change your life. We're going to be doing an event here, uh, you know, a one and a half day workshop coming up. Stay tuned for that. I also work with people individually. but. Um, Take the time to invest in yourself. Um, take the time to do a few different things. And remember that we need to do it together. We need to be accountable to each other. Um, we need to, to care enough about each other to um, hold each other to a certain standard so that we can upgrade our lives because that's what I want for you. It's not for you to do better so that I'm in a better place. It's for you to do better so that you're in a better place and that you are more um more confident and that you get to use tools and practice things and report back um, and change your thought patterns and change uh, the circumstances of your life. So hopefully that gives you a little encouragement and I will come back and check in later with another topic to discuss. I love you ladies watching and uh, please share your thoughts if you have any. And thanks for all the personal contacts. I really appreciate it. But if you ever want to be like bold, Say it out loud here, um, what you're going to do for yourself and who you're accountable to and uh, the changes that you want to make and the investments you're going to make into yourself. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.